Pope Benedict XII, Latin, Benedictus XII, 1285 to 25 April 1342, born Jacques Fournier, was pope from the 30th of December 1334 to his death in April 1342. He was the third Avignon pope. Benedict was a careful pope who reformed monastic orders and opposed nepotism. Unable to remove his capital to Rome or Bologna, he started the Great Palace at Avignon. He decided against a notion of Pope John XXII by saying that souls may attain the fullness of the beatific vision before the Last Judgment. He tried unsuccessfully to reunite the Greek and Roman churches. He also failed to come to an understanding with Louis IV, Holy Roman Emperor. <laughs> Early life Little is known of the origins of Jacques Fournier. He is believed to have been born in Cante in the Comte de Fa around the 1280s to a family of modest means. He became a Cistercian monk and left the countryside to study at the University of Paris. In 1311 he was made abbot of Fontfroid Abbey and quickly became known for his intelligence and organizational ability. In 1317 he was made bishop of Pamirs. There he undertook a rigorous hunt for Cathar heretics, such as Guillaume Belibaste, which won him praise from religious authorities, but alienated the local people. His efforts against the Cathars of Montelu in the Arige were carefully recorded in the Fournier Register, which he took to Rome and deposited in the Vatican Library. His transcription was edited by Jean de Vernoy and has been documented by Emmanuel Le Roy Le Dury's pioneering microhistory, Montelu, village Occitan. In 1326, upon the successful rooting out of the last, it was believed, heretics of the south, he was made bishop of Mirepoix in the Arige, and, a year later, in 1327, he was made a cardinal. Accession to papacy Fournier succeeded Pope John XXII as pope, after being elected in the conclave of 1334. The conclave opened on 13 December, and it appeared that there might be a quick election. A two-thirds majority were prepared to elect Cardinal Jean Raymond de Cominges, the Bishop of Porto, if he would only swear in advance to agree not to return the papacy to Rome. Cominges refused to make any promises in order to get elected. The conclave therefore ground on through lengthy discussions. As Fournier himself said, in the discussion held over the election of a future pope, they could certainly have agreed on others more conspicuous for the repute of their great merits." In other words, there were a number of possible candidates. The Cistercian cardinal, Jacques Fournier, was elected on the evening of 20 December 1334, after Vespers, on the eighth day of the conclave. <laughs> Papal policy and activity Topic. Benedict XII was a reforming pope who did not carry out the policies of his predecessor. He chose to make peace with Holy Roman Emperor Louis IV, and as far as possible came to terms with the Franciscans, who were then at odds with the Roman See. He tried to curb the luxuries of the monastic orders, though without much success. He also ordered the construction of the Palais des Papes in Avignon. Benedict spent most of his time working on questions of theology. He rejected many of the ideas developed by John XXII. In this regard, he promulgated an apostolic constitution, Benedictus Deus, in 1336. This dogma defined the Church's belief that the souls of the departed go to their eternal reward immediately after death, as opposed to remaining in a state of unconscious existence until the Last Judgment. Though some claim that he campaigned against the Immaculate Conception, this is far from clear. He engaged in long theological debates with other noted figures of the age, such as William of Ockham and Meister Eckhart. Though born a Frenchman, Benedict felt no patriotism towards France nor her king, Philip VI. From the start of his papacy, relations between him and Philip were frigid. After being informed of Philip's plan to invade Scotland, Benedict hinted that Edward III, King of England would most likely win, regardless. See also Topic List of Popes Topic References Topic Topic Bibliography 
Topic: Baronio, Cesare, 1872. Augustinus Tyner, ed. Annales Ecclesiastici, AD 1-1571 De nuo excusi et ad nostra usque tempora producti ab Augustino Tyner in Latin. Tomus Vigesimus Quintus 25. Bari Ducas, Typus et Sumptibus Ludovici Gaira, 1333-1356. Guillemain, B. 1952. La politique beneficiale du pape Benoit XII, Paris, École des Hautes Etudes. Le Roy Le Dury, Emmanuel. Montelou, Village Occitan de 1294-1325, Revised Edition. Paris, Gallimard. Le Roy Le Dury, Emmanuel. Barbara Bray. Ed. 1978. Montelou, The Promised Land of Error. New York, George Braziller 1978. Abbreviated edition Mann, J. B. 1950. Le Pape Benoit XII et les Cisterciens, Paris, École des Hautes Etudes. Otto, H. 1928. Benedict XII also Reformator des Kirchenstitz. Romisch Quartalschrift 36 1928, pp. 59-110. Vidal, Jean-Marie Notice sur les herbes du pape Benoit XII. In Revue de Histoire Ecclesiastique 6, 1905, pp. 557 to 565. Topic. Further reading. Topic. Murphy, Cullen. God's Jury: The Inquisition and the Making of the Modern World. New York: Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, 2012. 